What's good, internet? You already know who it is. It's your boy, Lil Snowflake, a.k.a. Young Vanilla, a.k.a. White Blizzard, a.k.a. P. Finn, with a little uh, tutorial on how to make a uh, pit bull. Get the hell out of my way. No, uh, a little tutorial on how to make one of those uh, little stage light crotch boxes that you see the kids using these days in uh, bands on stage when they stand up and the light goes on and their crotch is illuminated. So, I'm in a band. I wanted to make one and I wanted to show all you fine people out there in the internet world how to do it. Uh, it was pretty inexpensive, but I guess we'll just go over the materials real quick. This one is like small compared to the big ones. It only has one light in it, but it's got some cool things I'll show, I'll show you uh, as we go along. Arguably the most expensive thing is the plexiglass sheet that goes over top of the actual box, like saw. Um, it's probably the most expensive because it's the most durable thing. It needs to be able to move. Um, it's about uh, 0.2 inches thick and 18 inches wide. And I believe I've got the receipt here. It's looking like it's uh, 24 inches wide and 18 inches uh, deep. So this part here is 18 inches and this part over here is 22 inches. That is pretty much the dimensions. They're pre-cut that way. It costs about $20 and that's the dimensions that dictate the uh, size of the box that you're going to build around it. I find that if you buy an basically 8 feet long 2x4, um, I believe this actually is... Uh, this is a one and a half inch thick lumber uh, that I got. Uh, at a, it, it was originally eight feet long, and I uh, got that from Home Depot in the cull section. Cull is when they uh, cut wood at by accident, and they sell it to you for cheap. So um, this cost twenty dollars, and the rest of the lumber cost about four bucks from Home Depot. Um, this around the edges here is weather seal that you can put your uh, your uh, Man, stop that! You can uh, you can put a uh, weather seal around your um, your windows, uh, and that's it found in the uh, hardware section. So it's really cool. It's got a uh, sticker backing, so you, all you have to do is just peel this part off, and uh, it's just slap it on the wood. Once you've got your wood dr dr drilled together, um, again, it's pretty much you can find this anywhere. It's just sealant. It's window sealant. I only had to buy one package of it. It covered this whole area. Um, I drilled everything together with deck screws. That cost about $8. I'll break everything down in the comment section, but that cost about 8 bucks to get the deck screws. and um, Just make sure they're over 2 inches thick because you got to drive them in pretty deep. Uh, let me see. This is what a deck screw looks like. Well, at least the edge of it. If you've never seen one before, it is right here. Anyway, so, yeah, so pretty much after constructing the box, let's get to the guts of it. Um, I want to make a disclaimer right now telling people that if you somehow end up electrocuting yourself or setting a stage on fire, I'm not responsible. This is, uh, I'm in a rock band, so uh, rock is supposed to be really dangerous, and uh, if you're in a Jodeci backup band... You probably shouldn't be doing this. You should probably leave this to the professionals. But for what it's worth, this is pretty cheap and pretty dirty. And I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. But uh, as far as the guts are concerned, I just got an $8. Um, this right here is just an $8 uh, halogen light you can buy, again, in the Home Depot section. And I riveted it to the side using these. Uh, again, these little rivets, you can buy a bag of them, like a bag of like 10 of them for about 8 Probably like two. I think it was like two fifty in Home Depot. So these guys were cheap, and we just I just screwed them in with machine screws. Again, you can buy a bag of machine screws at Home Depot for about four dollars, even cheaper if you get the cheap ones. And uh, yeah, I just used a screwdriver to screw those in. Uh, after that, you kind of assemble this the way this comes out the box exactly the way it is, and uh, the power source. See if I can get some light on here for you guys. The power source is actually coming from this guy. 
This is just a three prong adapter. Again, $8 at Home Depot. And I ran it through the outside of the box. I drilled a hole using the same drill bit you use to create doorknobs and uh, keyholes and doors. Uh, that's like $4 at Home Depot. Um, you run it through here and basically, I'm trying to get it so you can see it without the light. Basically what I did, what I ended up doing was uh, I separated, if you look here, there is three sections of this wire. There's a neutral, a hot, and a cold. Whoops. So there's a neutral, a hot, and a cold, which is why there's three sections. So I just took a steak knife and I separated with one side of it. I believe this is the hot. It doesn't matter which one you take out. Just make sure you just use one because uh, it's going to complete the circuit. And I separated it with a steak knife and I cut one edge of it out and stapled both of them into the wood so they don't move around. This is the dangerous part, by the way. And I ran this section here. I cut this with a knife. And I ran this section into what's basically called a momentary contact switch. Uh, you can buy that at Home Depot for about $8. Uh, they look like this. It's called the push button switch or interrupter por porsar pusador if you're Hispanic. Um, essentially what it is, is it, uh, if it's in the up position, it's off. If it's in the down position, it's on. So it completes the circuit when it goes down, and it doesn't do anything. It doesn't allow the electricity to complete the circuit when it's up. So basically I just cut this wire, and I joined it on one side to the, uh, to the momentary contact switch. And on the other side, you can see here, I join the rest of the wire and then as you can see in the bottom there it comes back together on this side is where the end of the actual this is the end of the actual uh, plug it's a three prong plug I mean it's a three prong plug and there's three places to plug things in so basically I only have one contact switch but I could swap in and out of lights you can put anything in here right now there's just a halogen light but you can put a strobe light in you can put anything um, so I braced it to the wood with the same braces that we've been using to brace everything else uh, again two dollars at Home Depot not that big of a deal and uh, on this side, you'll see that the halogen light is actually plugged in. This guy has a little plug connecting into here. So, um, this side doesn't really have a light in it, but it kind of leaves you with a lot, of, a lot of options. You can put another light in there, or you can run um, a power cord back into this guy, and then run it out out of this hole here and maybe throw another light outside the box, like behind the drum set or something. So if someone jumps on this, uh, this box here to activate the light switch, then uh, the box itself uh, will turn on, and as well as any other light you have plugged into, um, into this, uh, this plug over here. So that's kind of cool. And so that's pretty much it. That's the construction of the box. Uh, I will admit that it was uh, my first chance, and I'll try to get some pictures on... Uh, video on how to use it and how it's being used but uh kind of the importance here is uh you want it to be very springy so it doesn't stay on when you jump off of it but you also want it to uh be flexible enough that it will turn on when you touch it so uh be prepared to have to adjust this switch a lot until you get into it into the right position um i used a bracket to secure the switch um it's just one of these one one screw brackets and I pretty much lined it up right with the very edge of this guy so when we put the uh, when we put the actual plexiglass on the plexiglass will stay above it because the rubber uh, this rubber here will push it up but when you actually put weight on it it'll collapse the rubber and then it'll hit this button and it works pretty good um, provided you do one more thing in addition to positioning this right um, you also need to, well you have to do two more things, you have to put a screw or something here to make sure that this is secure because it will shift around on you. Um, so that this doesn't move, this is pretty sturdy. And then when you actually stick this on here, you're going, uh, 
you're just going to have to be very, very careful that when you drill holes in the plexiglass, the holes are bigger than the screws themselves. So the screw can go freely in and out of the plexiglass like a piston. So when you so you want to you actually want to drill the holes of the plexiglass before you uh before you want to drill the holes in the plexiglass and not the the actual wood. The wood you don't want to have a, a drill. You don't want to you want to keep a drill bit away from this corner of the uh of the ple of the actual wood because what you're going to do is once you drill the hole the plexiglass needs to be the hole in the plexiglass needs to be a little bigger than the hole than the than the width of the screw that you're using so it can freely move up and down Get a picture of that it's not a whole lot of movement but you'll see in a little bit that it actually does help in the end see how it's like moving up and down so the screw basically just anchors the plexiglass from popping off the top that's not a good idea well, it's not screwed in, but when I screw it in, the screw will keep it from popping off from popping off the top, but it won't. Uh, it'll also allow it to freely move up and down like a little piston, and that is how you get your spring action to keep this switch over here from turning on and off. So you're basically going to put your foot here, and it's going to click on. And I will show you how that works in a second. But what you're going to need to do <coughs> is screw these guys in like so. Again, you don't want to do it too tight because you want to give it just enough give that it stays in, but not so much that it stays down. Well, I'll show you in a second. I'll put it back together and then I'll show you how it works. Alright, so I've run the plug outside of the box right here into a extension cord so we're hot um, and one more thing before I jump on this is please one last caveat and you guys can do whatever the hell you want to do um, just don't don't plug it in until after you've put the plexiglass on top of the actual box because this switch right here behind the plexiglass is extremely hot and you will you will shock yourself if you touch it. Um, if you're stupid enough and you hold on to it, you could actually give yourself a lot of, uh, you could do some serious harm to yourself. So don't do that. Um, again, this is incredibly dangerous. Probably a really stupid idea. I invite anybody that knows anything about electrics, like any electricians to, uh, Call me out on the comments because uh, I know this is really stupid. Um, but hey, rock and roll is supposed to be dangerous. But anyway, I will show you how this works um, without further ado the light box. So one foot goes on, it doesn't turn on because the switch isn't on this side. So, and then the way to turn it on is you put your other foot down. Holy shit, that's okay, that's anticlimactic, but that's what, that's what it does.